So we've got one item left. Another one of these to build. But a smaller one. So, let's see what's inside this box. Obviously I'm going to put the tape. As you see. Around here, my little trusty toenail scissors or whatever they are. Cat clippers or whatever. Piece of door, look sit to me where inches go. Um, this could be the top of it. I presume. A bit of dust coming out of that, but they obviously have been pre cooked in the battery. I mean cut, but obviously. Another piece of board. Uh, now I've got to the box, there'll be all the rest of the stuff to attach it with. And you get the instructions at the bottom. And, right, so, I'm going to have a cup of tea on all that. So, I'm going to split this box open. Oh, what can be in here? Obviously, the bits of the rest of it to attach it together. Uh, Interesting how this is opening. No, obviously it's like that. So we've got some little plastic squares, a bit of legs for it, a bit of room. Yes. The bracket should be full of them. Obviously. Two handles. Well there's only one in that one. And there's another one. And you get a nice little box for the lock. And then you've got all these bits, and you've got some tacks to put in. Oh dear, great, lovely. Completely different. Right. So that's what you get in there. So, let's get this thing tatched up. But first, let's have a cup of tea. Right, so... How do I put these on? Well, I was trying to pull it off from here, but unfortunately it doesn't. It comes off from here. I don't tell you really, but yeah, they come off like that. And it's telling me to actually do them first. That's your first thing, putting the legs on. So, so to do that, right, so we'll get on with that. Got a cup of tea time. <laughs> Magnetised screwdriver, I think that'll be handy. Um, you've got your little holes here. Um, I don't know. Might get 
camera person to come nearer later on in another shot. Uh, film what I'm actually doing. Because what leads in nice and neat, don't we? So, yeah, let's go in. Um, I'm going to screw mega tight until I can adjust it. <coughs> um, right. You can gather. You, 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 if you ever get one of these, you'll see the pilot holes for it, anyhow. So, um, right. If you can see the holes, obviously, I don't think you will, but you can gather up the picture of it. There's little holes in it, as you can film there. There, that's what I'm going to do with these little squares. So, yeah, we'll do that after a cup of tea. So they're a little bit fiddly doing these, but obviously I've got them screwed in and obviously you put your plastic things on, a bit like this, uh, well it should be, I suppose you could hide things in here, you know, if you want to put some money in or whatever, but you have to lift the unit up, but there you are, one, bottom, so yep, yeah. cup of tea time again. So, I've got the side bit, and I'm going to put the shelf in, in the middle first, in. Because on the instructions, it's more or less just shows you one picture. Just all the picture. I know you can't see it, but I might give you a close-up. That's all you get, one sheet of paper. So you got them. I'll do a close-up later, maybe. But obviously, there we are. And they actually screw into some plastic, obviously I'm blocking it there. So, with a bit of light and magic, I'm going to have a cup of tea. So, it's like one of these, sorry about the light. So it goes into plastic, it's got a thread on it, screwdriver on top obviously, and screw it in. There you have a lovely camera shot. Obviously I'm using the ratchet, so it should be done even quicker, or it should be for me, and the video might be quicker for you to watch. So I better put this in, it's like the wooden thing, you might have brain with hammers but they just slot in so obviously I'm a bit worried about later on in life, they're going to get loose. You can glue them in if you want. Right, so I've got the bottom bit. Obviously I've put the wooden pegs in and all that lot, so I'm going to put this one in. So obviously don't do what I might do, make sure you've got that nice bit, I gather that's going to be at the front, should be, it's a bit obvious. I've looked at the instructions about it, but you know, it's a bit scary actually, so, you know. Yeah, there's some trustworthy hammer hand. Uh, I think this is a shelf, no that's the top of it. Uh, they are numbered as well. Yeah that looks short to me. I'll have a look. You know, so I like doing it, but you know, I know, I know it's a shelf. Whoops. 
That's how you break things, I know. Uh, I can't find a sticker on this. Should have number five on it. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the stickers might sort of come off. I know that's five. I know that's the shelf. Right, that's the shelf. This is my top. And you can see it all coming into place. It might not be the best camera shot. So, uh, you all slot in there. Right. Definitely find out it's right pace. Right. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Because I've been both at the same. Oh, that's it. It's five. Right, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have put it on wrong somehow. But that does look shorter. And it is. But that is that. I thought I couldn't find number five. The shelf looks long. It is longer for some reason. Um, but... It says it's a shot. Obviously, you might not see inside. Uh, uh, I get these in the hole. Um, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that bit. So you can even have go wrong. So. background obviously uh, typical um, got to line it up I'm not going to mess about showing you nice big lonely camera shots if you're doing it you'll see it this is just red roll me doing it putting it on might be easy way see whoa right we got a problem here so I'm going to have a cup of tea So we haven't assembled it just yet, we've got to put them little fittings in but that's what it looks like for the moment So I've got these out now, so you got them to put in, so I'll show you how to do it. It's not a really good camera shot, I mean I can't get any zoom out, but obviously you see a metal bit sticking out here. This goes inside here, I know my hand's in the way, but there you are. Um, fiddle about with screwdriver and so that should screw in well oh, it twists in it's like a little groove and that if you buy them you know what I'm on about I don't know what the actual names for them obviously it's telling me to tack it first yeah well, I'm going to put the doors on first, so I'll make sure it's lined up. So, these go in nice and round there, and then just slot in there, screw the holes in. You've got these, they go into these um, holes here on this door. This door's got the lock in it, as you can tell by looking at the hole and the screw holes and all that lot. So. <laughs> So, I'll show you how the bracket goes in. Yeah, so for the shadows. Right, so, you got your holes. And a lot of people know how to put screws in, but not many people might not do. Yeah, there's a lot of shadow in there, but yeah. So, you see the pilot holes. 
and that will help you. Now I'm not going to screw this in fully tight because I'm going to put another screw in if I get it out of the bag, typical. And uh, so I can move it and just it so where I want it. So, and then put that in as well for you. Yeah, yeah that would be right, that should go in. And then, yeah, the bit of tightness there. Uh, that's one inch in. So that's how you do your hinges. So this is the other side of the door. You got this one what says J on it. So I don't know if it's a good camera shot. So I'm opening that. I presume they don't matter. But obviously I presume this metal bit down here goes like that. Right. I presume. Oh, technically it should be like that. But I'm going to put it this way for some reason. Um. I presume there's a hole not in a hole for them to go in but it does say on the instructions to oh right the clicky bits do call clicking up and to me that means that goes up like that so it sticks out uh, Right, we'll see how it that goes. So first thing, we're going to start screwing these in. As you can see, there's holes um, in. Um, obviously, you can't see it from this camera handle, but if you if you were actually working on one of these, you'll see. So I'm going to screw in. I'm not going to put it in tight because I'm going to line the other one up. So. So I'm going to adjust it then. That's a bit weird, it's lifting up much less, so... So I wonder why it's gone wrong that No, and it's not gone wrong. It's just weird. I'll start screwing down. I don't think I've got much play with it actually, but I might do. So I'm going to put another screw in. Right. Well, that's lined up today. Just from me, but obviously you might see more better than me on the camera angle I've got. Hell knows, but you know. Yeah. Right. So if it, if if I've done it wrong, I'll just have to swap them round. Won't be much of a big deal. It just makes it slackier, isn't it, with screws? But as far as I know, that's where all it's made to go. A bit weird, you've got this button. And it clicks and that. But there ain't no warm holes in the frame. But, I don't know. We'll see how this works. So I'm putting the um, actual screws in, obviously I'm not holding this one obviously I've been doing it with one hand you don't screw the screws in tight obviously it's a pain as you can see, I can get one lined up but obviously the other one's not lined up there so uh, I'm going to put a screw in there obviously I didn't do the back, as you know, we haven't done it there yet Trying to get a bloody bite by my fingers. Uh, it's not twisting as much. Uh, come on, press in, please. Bit fiddly, obviously. Yeah, it's in there, but it's gone crooked. Just to hold it. So I can lift it up. Obviously, I want the screw to go in straight. Um, because my other hand's holding it up, uh, I don't want the screw going sideways or anything when it goes straight in. 
and I'm not tightening it just yet. Obviously, I don't know what the camera handle's going to be like for you. Obviously, I'm doing this at the same time. Now I've got that all in that. Um, yeah. Get in there. Yeah. I don't think you can actually see because my hands are in the way. So, um, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm screwing screws in, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I didn't put it in, just in case it might do that. But I can line it up now to make sure them doors go in right. I just did it that way. I was going to lay it down to make it easier, but we'll see. it down and I've looked it up look at it it may be up that sort of like look straight that's why I did it the opposite compared to the instructions so yeah let's put the so obviously I've got the facts of it doesn't really matter which end it goes, I suppose, because they're both the same way, right? So, these go up back here, here and uh, try to line it up as good as you can. Obviously, I'm going to do one at a time, so I've got it sort of lined up. Yeah, maybe move it as well, to make it look nice and neat and that. That one doesn't look too bad. That one looks too, but not too bad. So first thing, take one off. Uh, am I happy with that? Does it look like it's coming out a bit? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously I'm going to put one nail in, one tack in, and then I can move it. So obviously I'm going to get one out for it in there. Uh, I'm going to use this one, this one looks sharp, obviously a little hammer, a little claw hammer or something. I'm trying to not, uh, I hope these go in straight, I hate doing stuff like this, because they can go crooked, and then you split a lovely unit, tapping it in nice and neat and nice. Whacking it like hell, leaving big hammer prints and that. So now I can do this. So you think, oh no, it's moved and that. To me, um, I'm trying to get it as neat as I can. So I'm going to put another one in the corner here. I'm hoping that looks right. I'm going to have, have a look round here myself. Quite neat, and uh, another little tap there. But you definitely want the nail to sort of go in straight. If it bends, it's going to come out and stick out of your side of your unit, obviously. A lot of people will know that, but obviously, some people, you know, might not know. So, I'm going to carry on nailing these, another cup of tea, maybe. So obviously no little nails out um, to show you how to tack them in. Right. Sorry about that. I'm making sure. Do not want to make any mistakes. Obviously you can't see what I'm doing. And obviously I'm trying to get a good camera shot. So Sort of guessing now 
where where your board's going to be. Obviously, maybe camera checking and all. As I'm hammering down. I actually prefer to put screws in me, but you know. Pinching acid you get, yeah, okay. Yeah, you need safety gloves on. Um, I think you can get some mittens. See, most of these nails I've got, there were two of them bent, so it sort of damaged it a bit. So, I'm not happy at that. So, yeah, I've got some tacks in it. I might have to re re I, hate, I hate it when it does that noise. I feel like it's going to split it. Anyway. So that's that, that done. So, yeah. Right, yeah, it's chipped it there. It's a bastard. Right, cup of tea. Two handles, a lock, and I've still got some screws. Obviously, I think there's two more holes, but you're going to have to put them in yourself, I think, for the. Um, I'll show you. So, a cup of tea. So, I'm trying to open the packet. Things, eh? Not even that. You open it up, and you got more packaging to get through. <laughs> yeah, I've got to make sure. Always wear safety gear. Bloody yeah. hell! And chalk, chalk hazards. So make sure your kids don't don't get your kids to make these. You know, it's got to have a responsible adult. Uh, but I think kids are better doing stuff like that than anything you can Google it or whatever. You know. Well. Uh, yeah. Uh, there might be a better tool. Tin opener. That'll do it. So, I think. Anyway, I'm going to have a cup of tea and then get through all this packaging. Right, so right, you got your flathead screws here. Obviously, they go feeding through here, and you can. I don't know if you can see it, but obviously, you can gather this sort of twist round and um, uh, go in. I'm doing it by my fingers, but I will use screwdriver. Obviously, it would just be camera shot. Uh, so, yeah, that's got a bit of a bite in. I'll just. Tighten that up. Yeah, back here. Uh, yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's screwing in there. Uh, obviously, I didn't really need a ratchet, but it's doing the job in here. Right there. And uh, do it back a bit. Oops. I'll show you a close-up on the other side. I might have a cup of tea first. Uh. Not the best, but obviously you can see it going through. Yeah, yeah, see that little bit there? Yeah, a bit blurry, but you know. Right, and then you touch the handle on. Right, 
right, so I'm tightening it and oh yeah 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 you make sure you do it right so um, I'm trying to get you a better camera shot and oh, oh yeah and you might get all that to happen as well hmm. um, a bit of sellotape might be better you know maybe but yeah yeah it will fall off so make sure you screw them in so a cup of tea With the lock in, uh, some screws in. Oh, they're not in packages. No, they're not. So you've got four screws in there. At least I can open a box. Yeah, oh yeah, you got your car keys. Um, the keys for this. And, right, same as before. As another unit I used. So it will go like that. You got your little marks where to put your screws in. That will go around there and slot in like that, you know. But obviously, I'm not going to put that in just yet. I'm going to put the screws in first. So, I'll do that now. Have a cup of tea. So, it's sort of catching a bit. So you make sure your lock's right where. Um, so it's locked. Unfortunately, I can get in it. But it's not the best lock system at all. Mm. So I'm not really that impressed with that. And I'm going to put that in. Somewhere it's gone wrong or somewhere, I don't, I don't know, I mean that's not really good, that's going to come off maybe, I don't know. Uh, uh, there's some more holes to put in here, I think you've got to do them yourself, and um, I'll show you that after a cup of tea. <laughs> the doors. Uh, it's catching. I do not like these hinges. Obviously, whatever the holes are, this is going to have to come out a little bit more. But then it's going to catch that. Obviously, the lock will work when I set these on here. Uh, wow, it works. See this door opening alright, but now I've taken this one, I do not like these hinges, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of catching it. So I've got to tinker about with it, have fun if you've got one of these. Nine door, for a thousand hour. That's the culprit. Now, what it doesn't tell you, you see these screws here. I've been doing them, and I've had to adjust them. Pain. If I was not, it's going to work, I hope. So, yeah, you adjust that one and untighten that one. Obviously, there's going to be some screws going in there, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> So I've caught it catching, but now it doesn't shut right actually from the top, it catches from the bottom. So, more tinkering about where this is doing me head in. Bye, have a great time. Bye, my lips are done.